From Studio 114, this is Tiger TV. And here's your host, Abby Gentry. Hey, I'm Abby Gentry, and welcome to the newest edition of Tiger TV. Today's stories include a look at tennis, the blood drive, and the last three weeks of football. Now here's Hannah with the tennis story. Story. Hi, I'm here with three tennis players, and they're here to tell you about their season so far. My team goals for this year would be to win region and hopefully make it to playoffs, and then to prepare for a match, uh, just have fun with the team. We all laugh and warm up together, and then we get in game mode whenever the other team arrives. It's been good so far. We've only had one region game, and we've won it, so it's been great. This season has changed from last season because we have a lot more younger players and they have a lot of potential and I think that we can go farther this year than we did last year. Thanks, Thanks Hannah. And here's Keely McDaniel with the Blood Drive. I'm here at the Blood Drive. People donate their time and their blood. For those that are given blood, I would say eat a healthy, hearty breakfast, lunch, depending on the time that you donate. Uh, make sure you drink a lot of water. Make sure you come in kind of knowing what to expect. It usually takes anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes from check-in to getting you out. And usually after you leave, we'll give you snacks and a water to make sure that you don't pass out. It saves three lives. And then when you get done, you feel better about yourself. Next year, you'll have another chance to make a difference right here at Slida High School. Thanks, Keely. And now for a quick commercial break. You could be. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. My name's Joseph. Let me tell you something real quick about this yearbook. Did you know it's only $58? That's like $2 less than 60 But if you get it like right now, not only will you get it at such a great price, but you can get your name on the cover for free. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I love me some free. So stop by room 112 and get yourself something that will last a lifetime. Now here's Sam Barstay with the last three weeks of football. On Friday, September 21st, the Sula Tigers hosted the Southside Christian Sabres. The first touchdown of the night came from a nine-yard pass from Noah Bell to Madison Williams. Francisco Yepes kick was good for the extra point. The next set of points came from a 27-yard field goal kick from Yepes. The Tigers were unable to get the ball moving for the rest of the first half. At the half, the Sabres were leading the Tigers 17-10. Both teams were unable to get their own offense going in the third quarter. The final touchdown of the night came when Bell connected to Daylon Wright for a touchdown strike. Yepes was successful for the extra point. The final score of the night was 30-17 to Sabres. On Friday, September 28th, the Slew Tigers traveled to Aiken to face the Silver Bluff Bulldogs. The game was hard fought on both sides. The first and only touchdown came from a 12-yard run by Jeremiah Stevens. Francisco Yepes' kick was good for the extra point. Salou's defense was on point Friday, shutting down the Bulldogs who averaged 37 points a game. The final score of the night came from a 20-yard field goal kick by Yepes. The final score of the night was 10-0 Tigers. Saluda traveled to 96 High School October 5th to take on the Wildcats. 96 dominated in the first quarter, but SHS put together a 68-yard drive, which ended with a one-yard touchdown run from Noah Bell. Late in the second quarter, Yepes added a field goal, and the Tigers went into halftime down only 14 to 10. After two Wildcat touchdowns in the third quarter, it looked like the Tigers were finished. But C.J. Bosket returned with a 65-yard kickoff return to make the score 28 to 17. So the high school pulled closer in the fourth quarter when Bell hooked up with Zay Bryant for a 76-yard touchdown. Unfortunately, 96 scored again, but the Tigers were able to add one last touchdown on a 30-yard bell pass to Brooks. Salute lost 31-35 and dropped to 1-1 one one in the region play. All right, I think uh, how would we develop our trust within our players uh, on, on the field? And I think that really starts in the offseason. Uh, you know, our, 
our players spend a lot of time with our coaches, uh, particularly you know coaching receivers, myself and Coach Horton. Um, you know they're here all summer, and uh, so we interact with the players. Uh, I think we get to know the players on a personal level. They understand that we care about them and we love them. And, uh, and you know, I, I actually am around uh, our players more than I am my own children for about eight months out of the year. So uh, I think just it's just like any other relationship. Uh, relationships are built over time. And, uh, and our players know that, that we invest a lot of time with them and in them. And, uh, and they know how much we care about them. And I think that's how you develop trust. Uh, about developing an offensive philosophy going into games, uh, Coach Wilder does a fantastic job as offensive coordinator, and uh, you know all of, I think we work really well together as a staff. Uh, offensively, myself, Coach Horton, Coach Jones, and Coach Cheriker, uh, and Coach Arians, and of course Coach Wilder is the coordinator. But uh, I think the biggest thing philosophy-wise is you know we've got really good players. Um, on both sides of the ball. And so offensively, one thing you want to try to do whenever you're designing any offense uh, is get your, get your players uh, the opportunity to get the ball in their hands uh, in a situation where they can make plays and show off their talents. What motivates us in and out each game is like we don't went through some workouts and struggle, went through facing that adversity. So we know that we just can't give up easily. We're going to fight to the finish and we're going to give it our all. It's like how we face challenges is once again, we know we done been down this road before. It's not like our first rodeo. So we know how to face it. We know what we can do and what we can't do. And we know that we're not just going to give up easily. We're going to fight to the finish to the last breath. Thanks, Sam. Make sure to join us tonight as the Tigers take on the Predators. Have a great weekend and stay safe, Tigers. Tigers. <laughs>